praise the name of the Lord. I have yet another powerful word for you, my brothers and sisters. Remember that every single day I release these powerful lives. It is very important that you get connected to this powerful message, that you subscribe to this channel and turn on all the notifications so that you may receive future videos. Brothers and sisters, this is a word for you. This is a word that you should be careful not to speak evil against God's chosen ones. Remember there are men and women who have been chosen by God to guide you through these things. They are anointed men and women of God. So be very careful not to speak against them. Some of you are watching me right now. You are anointed. You are one of the anointed men and women of God that has been chosen by God. And people have been speaking against you. They have been trying to speak all sorts of words to bring you down. Be careful not to challenge the calling of God upon someone's life. Because you don't know what exactly you are attacking. It is like you are fighting against God when you go out and fight against another man of God. A woman of God who has been anointed by God. Brothers and sisters, be very careful to speak against them. Because these are servants of God. Remember you are the salt of this world. You are the light of this world. You are the body of Christ. It makes no sense for the body to fight against each other. You see, I'll give you an example of a natural body, the physical body. The hands don't fight against the legs, but the hands work in together with the legs because they have different functionalities. Your hands, if they are cut off, your whole body will not function very well. If your eyes are plucked out, if your ears cannot hear, your whole body will not function very well. But you find people fighting against each other. You find Christians fighting against Christians. A kingdom divided against itself cannot stand. You see, when the enemy knows about it, that the enemy does not fight against himself. But you find Christians speaking against this Christian, trying to accuse this person, be very careful. Because there are some people who have brought judgment on themselves through their mouths. Scripture says that the power of life and death is within the tongue. Your tongue has power to life and death. So choose what you, what you speak. Don't just speak words just like that. Be very careful. I want to read to you a scripture that is in the book of Numbers chapter 16, verse 28 to 34. Numbers chapter 16, verse 28 to 34. And it reads, And Moses said, By this you shall know, that the Lord has sent me to do all these works. For I have not done them on my own will. If these men die naturally, like all men, or if they are visited by a common fate of all men, then the Lord has not sent me. But if the Lord creates a new thing, and the earth opens its mouth and swallows them up, all that belongs to them and they go down alive into the pit then you will understand that these men have rejected the lord now it came to pass as he finished speaking all these words that the ground split apart under them and the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up with their households 
and all the men with Korah, with all their goods. So they and all those with them went down alike into the pit. The earth closed over them, and they perished from among the assembly. Then all Israel who were around them fled at their cry, for they said, Lest the earth swallow us up also. Glory to God. Now, this is an incident where Moses was faced with opposition. That there were people that were opposing him, the sons of Korah. Korah and his friends opposed Moses. They accused him. They spoke evil against Moses. They say that God had not called Moses. They challenged Moses. And Moses said, By this you shall know that the Lord has sent me to do these works. For I have not done them on my own will. Moses told them, By this you shall know. He told them that if this, the earth swallows you, then you shall know that God has sent you. But if the earth does not swallow you, then you shall know that God does not send me. And we know that the earth swallowed them. The earth opened and it swallowed them. Brothers and sisters, what am I trying to say? It is very dangerous to speak against men of God because you are pronouncing judgment at on yourselves a lot of people have died deaths that are mysterious deaths that are not natural because they have spoken against men of god a lot of people have ended their lives their destinies have been destroyed because they have gone against god's servants touch not his anointed don't do that brothers and sisters this is a word for someone who's watching me right about now. Don't accuse them. Even in the comment section, be very careful. Some of you have sicknesses because you accused a man of God. You spoke against them. You thought you were speaking what is right, but you were speaking against God. Some of you are going through problems because you accused a man of God, a woman of God. You don't know what they go through to preach the word, to bring souls to Christ. So be very careful. Brothers and sisters, this is the end of the word. Until next time, God bless you.